Only on 7 News, bears caught on camera rummaging through flood debris. It is the newest problem now for some front range towns hit hardest last month. Russell Haythorn Live, where Colorado Parks and Wildlife says bears are looking for easy meals, Russell. Mike, the flood debris around the Big Thompson providing plenty of easy meals. Here in Loveland, bears appear to be moving closer to town as they follow the trail of spoiled and rotten food. Mark Lundquist captured this home video this morning. A mama bear and her two cubs with their backs to us. One of the bears lifts its head as they rummage through flood debris. There's white wreckage over there. They were in between the crux of those three trees. Oh yeah, they're looking for whatever they can to eat. Lundquist says his German shepherd, Greta, ran out of the house this morning agitated with her nose in the air. I was uh, standing in my house and I saw about a 75 pound uh, juvenile black bear. Flood debris like this is providing all kinds of treats for bears. The bears know that there's foods around in those areas, so they certainly will come looking around, especially as things start to rot and get a little smelly. Jennifer Churchill with Colorado Parks and Wildlife says bears are extremely active right now as they pack on pounds for hibernation in mid-November. Hyperphagia, where they are packing on you know, 20,000 calories a day. They really need to eat a lot, and so they're not going to hang around very long. They'll eat what's there, and then they'll move on. Potentially, I hope, she's heading up to um, the devil's backbone, where she's uh, hopefully has a den. Could be not so happy ending for her. A not so happy ending because as Parks and Wildlife advertises, bears that become habituated to human food often become aggressive and they only get one chance on their second strike, they are euthanized. So if you live in a flood damaged area, try to clear out that debris as quickly as possible. Live in Loveland, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.